is a must in cancer. So, but you, are, you, 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 in you took off all our weapons uh, to stage properly your patients. Well, l let's divide the staging into screening for metastasis and the, the breast staging. Well, the breast staging, I'm okay. sure you can, you can talk about yeah, it no much problem. better. But the, the, the systemic, systemic staging is very important. In selected patients, in stage one or two breast cancer, the risk of having, for example, a positive CT scan for metastasis, that's a, a, a pulmonary nodules of more than 10 millimeters the, 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 with a typical uh, picture. That's in generally around two to three percent. Okay. Okay. In stage in pool stage one or one plus two. So that's why it's in the guidelines. It's not recommended even for an unpregnant lady to go for routine screening for metastasis in very early disease. I'm talking about the PET. Hmm. So PET scan is in the guidelines. It is indicated in stage 3B disease yes. and some selected patients with 3A disease. That was not our patient. But if you have such lady with a high risk or that's the, mo the more important than the risk of having metastasis because it's, it's, usually, it's, it's usually less than 10% even in stage 3. But if she has symptoms, that's, that's the, the major issue. If she had persistent back pain for the past two months, two months, for example, that she, she, might, she might have a, a high risk of having this metastasis. So in that lady, I would s suggest, even if she's pregnant, to do a low dose PET CT or a bone scan with a, a, a Do you think the cancer, high dose Or the MRI, or the MRI. Yeah, but the, uh, the, the ordinary PET CT, this would affect the, her, her baby in the third trimester? No, well, for me, I don't think it's, it's a major exactly. issue. Exactly. That's, what, if, I'm if we need that's what I need but to... But uh, uh, I mean, with adjusting the, the PET CT protocol, uh, the, the exposure is, is, very, is very low for, for even it, 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 uh, it precludes any risk. So it, when I communicate that with the patient, I don't really have much risk to communicate it. And with the benefit that, that in, in a symptomatic metastasis or a very locally advanced disease, the benefit here is, is really there. Yes, we should not abuse it, but we should uh, only leave it to the, those who are really at very high risk of having distant metastasis. That's what I wanted just to, to clear up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, patient just with the breast cancer, with no definite clinical or radiological suspicious axillary lymph nodes. What is the metastatic work up you are going to do for heart? Just x-ray and ultrasound abdomen and pelvis yes, or sorry, sorry. CT? Negative uh, axilla means she's stage one or two. Negative axilla yes. by clinical, clinical and radiological. radiological. Well, that's, that's enough for us to call it negative. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's negative, so it's, it's stage one or two. What's the, the minimal metastatic work up to do? You can do nothing. Just clinical examination, laboratory workup, including the liver enzymes and alkaline phosphatase and serum calcium. If all that, the clinical exam, the history, and the lab came out negative, then the guidelines tells us no need to screen for metastasis. Even a normal X-ray chest and ultrasound abdomen, you are not doing. It's not recommended. However, the, the anesthesiologist needs that in, in some patients. So we usually tend to request it before we, we plan for the MDT or for the, for the, uh, for the uh, surgeon's assessment. We request a, a chest radiograph and abdominal ultrasound. No major risk in those. And, but we, 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 we do not request any contrast studies, for example, for stage one disease. But with positive yeah. axillary lymph node, you will go for CT? It, it depends. In a stage 3A disease, it is recommended to do, uh, 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 we, we do uh, in our guidelines, we do the, uh, the, uh, the contrast CT for those patients with axillary lymph node positive. Again, the risk of having metastasis is around 5% in those. So again, you do 95 negative scans to, to get those five patients. Uh, we, we, the, the contrast uh, chest and abdominal uh, scan is, 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 is uh, the one in our guidelines. We do not request routine PET scans, despite many centers love it because you, you can skip the, uh, the the, the, uh, the, the renal uh, problems with the contrast uh, material, and it's also uh, one, one, one stop shop, so it's, it's, it's fast, but usually in, in our Egyptian guidelines and in, the, in, in the most of the guidelines, it's not recommended to do routine PET uh, for those. Thank you. You're welcome. So I think with no further question, uh, I'd like to thank you very much for the invitation, and goodbye. <laughs>